Hello everybody, so this is the Versa Carry Ranger holster. Now I know what you may be thinking, but Matt, where's the shooting portion of this where you took it out and you shot it and tested it and you've carried it and all these other things, right? Um, you know, every holster during this month of holster reviews, I have carried, I have uh, at least for a few days each, um, taken out, shot, done dry practice drills, reload drills if, if if I'm able to, as far as like a, a bag caddy holster, uh, things like that. I've used them to the point where I feel I can tell you the pluses and minuses about each holster. This holster, uh, you will never find a shooting video of me with this holster because I don't want to put a loaded gun in my pants with this piece of garbage. Now, I don't know where to begin with this. Um, Possibly when I first got it, the directions say jam the gun into it as this is empty. Um, jam the gun into it as hard as you possibly can, and then grab it and twist, 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 twist until it until it stretches out um, and breaks the holster down to the point where it fits. Because when I first got it, it would only go in about that far. And I was like, are you kidding me? And of course their their thing, their uh their little tip worked. Why you can't build a holster that uh already fits is beyond me, but um it worked. So as you can see, um it does not cover the trigger guard fully, and this leaves leaves something to be desired um as far as trigger uh trigger guard covering. Uh, if that looks goofy to you here, it's because it is. They took no care to make the stitching on one side the same as the stitching on the other, which has pulled it in very weirdly on one side. Speaking of stitching, if you look at a bunch of the stitching and where it's frayed and unevenly spaced and halfway coming out of the holster, it looks like a drunk toddler. Uh, stitch this thing together. I mean, it's wavy, <laughs> wavy lines and everything. Uh, seriously, this this is probably, quite possibly one of the worst constructed holsters I've ever seen in my life. So, it draws real smooth because it has zero retention um, and it sits flat. As soon as you draw it out of your pants, it sits flat and there is no reholstering. Um, reholstering people is is in my opinion equally as important as the ability to unholster and, and uh, as, as important as the draw there's of course no structure with this um, no retention there's nothing there's no there's no sweat guard of course protecting the gun from you speaking of sweat this thing all this like nylon material and this leather material will soak with sweat if you are a sweater you know somebody that sweats a lot while it's in your pants so that's an equally bad thing this is basically a leather and nylon donut with padding in it um, with a little bit of stitching around here that quite honestly, I think could let go at any given point in time. So the buckle or the uh, the belt clip is metal. Uh, this is probably the most well-built piece to the thing. It does have an aggressive belt clip and it is metal. Uh, it's easy to manipulate and get it on and off the body. So that that's a plus, that's, that's a, a nice little Nice tab, nice, nice belt clip. Um, that I don't know. I wish I could like cut it out and repurpose it because I have to get something out of this holster because as it sits, it's just not a holster. It's it's a sock that you can put your gun in, and that's about it. These just aren't holsters, folks. I mean, they are, they're, they're devices that you can put your gun in and then stick your gun in your pants and transport it from point A to point B. If that's what your idea of a holster is, this is absolutely for you. Except for the fact that it's a $30 holster as of the beginning of July. It's a $30 holster and I can point you to a dozen Kydex holsters that are about the same price 
that will keep keep the gun securely in place that will not let the gun fall out no matter no matter what it catches on because it has good retention um, that will protect the gun from sweat and, and so on so, I mean just and keep going and going and going all the negative things about this uh, so I just believe it's a waste of money to invest in something like this these are unsafe holsters there are pictures all over the internet showing uh, holsters just like this getting this caught up in the trigger guard as you're trying to you know, holster it and unholster it and whatever having this getting caught up in the trigger guard um, it's just if you show up to one of my classes with a holster like this you will get kicked out and you will not get your money refunded um, I'm just letting you know right up front this isn't a holster in my opinion and um, yeah just absolute piece of trash absolute piece of garbage in every sense of the word from its from the way it's made to its lack of real function um, yeah so there you go there is my review of the versa carry ranger pos